the access point now accepts packets that we send to it because it's not going to ignore us because we've successfully associated ourselves with it using a fake authentication attack. Now we are ready to inject packets into the access point and uh, make the number of data increase very quickly so that we can decrypt the web key. So the first method of packet injection that we're going to talk about is ARP request replay. In this method, we're going to wait for an ARP packet, we're going to capture this packet, and we're going to inject it into the traffic. When we do that, the access point is going to be forced to create a new packet with a new IV. We're going to capture this new packet, inject it back again into the traffic to force the access point to create another packet with another IV. We're going to keep doing this until the number of data is high enough to crack the web key. Let's see how we do this in uh, Kali Linux. So, first thing I'm gonna do is just launch aerodump ng. I'm just gonna add a write to it. And let's call it this time ARP request reply test. And that's it running and you can see that the target network has zero data so it has no clients associated with it and there is no traffic going through so it's not useful we can't crack its key and um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a fake authentication now and as you can see the fake authentication was successful and the auth has changed to open so we can start injecting packets into this network and it'll accept our packets when we inject them and um, that's going to lead us to our third step which is uh, the ARP request reply step where we will be injecting packets uh, into the target network forcing it to create new uh, new packets with new IVs so the command is going to be just paste this now very similar to the previous one just instead of fake auth we're gonna say ARP replay and I have an extra IR here so ARP replay yep okay and then instead of A we're gonna have V for BSSID so the first command here we did was just an association command so that we can associate with the network and we can start injecting packets without being ignored. Uh, sorry here. The third one we're going to do here is uh, the command that we're going to uh, wait for an ARP packet. We're going to capture it and then re-inject it in the air. Let me just associate myself again there and I'm going to launch this command. So. And here in the third section, a, a replay is just waiting for an ARP packet. Okay, as you can see, we've captured an ARP packet, and um, now it's injecting the ARP packet here. So it's just it captured an ARP packet. It's injecting it in the traffic. Uh, the AP is creating another packet with a new IV. We're receiving it, injecting it again and we're just doing reply doing this over and over again you can see the number of data has already reached 9000 i'm just gonna launch aircrack ng now i think by the time i launch it i'll be able to crack it so i'm gonna aircrack ng same command that we run in the basic case let's just see ls star dot cap and it'll show up for us Yep, so that was it. So, air crack, ng, file name. And sure enough, here we see the web key. And we were able to crack it um, very easily. Uh, the number of data has reached 39,000 by now, so it's running up very, very quickly.